Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. It's about 5.20. Today we're headed off to a new construction. We're going to set up a big patio, and then there's a fire pit area that we're also going to go ahead and get ready to pour. Tomorrow I'm going to go back to the job that we tried to do on Friday and see if it's dry enough to set up. I have a lot of jobs to get done from now until the end of June. I have a very packed schedule and a lot of people that are expecting their job done. So there's going to be some pressure on me. I'm hoping that we have good weather and I hope that my guys continue to show up. We'll see what happens. I'm going to take this trash out, grab some coffee. Let's get to work. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Scott. This morning. How's the coffee business? It's going. I'm in the tea business this morning. Yeah, I see that. Yes. Morning, Missy. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Happy Monday. Exactly. <laughs> Same to you. I didn't get a chance to talk to you yesterday, walking up in here like a handsome stud. You oh. were all dressed up. You have a good day. Yes, we'll you too. We'll see you next time. Thank you. All right, I am pulling into the yard. It is 5.51. I'm gonna be the only one here for a little bit, which is fine with me. All right, Eric's the first one here. What's up? You never get here this early. No. No. First time. I don't wanna catch traffic, so. Yeah. I think it's really bad over here. I think it's just gonna be me and you today. It's 6 30 and nobody almost 6 30. nobody's here at all wow marcel's here ah uh, can you guys hook up the white truck to the uh, mesh trailer i'm gonna give eric 10 for being the first one here on a monday morning first one here on a monday yeah, Daryl's almost here. Oh. I don't know where Francisco is though. Oh, hey. Sleeping. <laughs> Man, everybody scared me this morning. It was just me and Eric. Really? Yeah. And then finally Marcel just showed up. We saw Daryl. Daryl won't answer his phone. He just called now. He's almost here. You're late because you had to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh wow. Have him follow you. Because he don't have a phone with GPS anymore. 639. It's not too bad. All right, we're here on the job. We're actually going to be doing more work at this house. It's a large new construction driveway, a uh, long front sidewalk. But this part of the project, we're only going to be doing the patio, and then we're doing a fire pit over there. Patio is pretty large. Uh, I drew it out in yellow paint. I was here on Saturday. You kind of see it's going to come off that corner. Radius, it's going to come out 20 feet from the house out to here. And then we're going to radius it again over here on this corner. And then it's going to turn around and then come to that trim on the window right there. So it should be pretty easy. And then over here, all we're doing is a perfect circle for a fire pit area. We're not doing a cutout or building a fire pit. They're gonna do a portable. They just wanted to have a pad here to put it on. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get this set up, ready to pour. The reason that I'm here this morning is because that job that we tried to start on Friday, but it was too wet, we were supposed to be pouring that today. So I had to scramble and try to figure out something that we could do today. So we ended up here, which worked out pretty good. All right, guys are here backing up the driveway. Uh, Daryl should be here in just a minute. We'll get started. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be an easy day. Very easy. Is that what we said enough today? Yeah. You threw it already? Yeah, I was here on Saturday. All right, everybody's here now. Daryl's greasing the T320 skid loader. Try to do that at least once a year. Right there. See? All right. It's pretty windy back here again today, but what I started doing back here is establishing some heights. So we chalk some lines here. This whole patio is going to fall out that way. So all the water will drain out this way and then obviously down the hill. 
So this is a really easy job, new construction. There's not much to dig here. Basically gonna scratch out a little bit of dirt, set the forms, grade a compact, put the mesh, rods, and felt in, and that's about it. Very easy. Now that's easy one. It is very easy. Eric, you're going from the top of the level to the bottom of the level. You can't you can't set a pitch like that. You gotta go bottom of the level to the oh. bottom of the level. You did that last year once too, remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's gotta go up, but you only have a quarter of a bubble. This is all ready to go. We're probably gonna have to double them up or use two by six or something here. I'm gonna run and get a downspout connector. Okay. Just just set all this up. So these radiuses. You know, just make a nice radius like we do. You can go tighter than this. Just grab a full eight foot clear and, and wherever you can make it fit. Okay. We have to have this patio 100% ready with the wire mesh. Uh, obviously we need to finish that downspout, the rods, the felt, 100% ready to pour because concrete's at 610 on Wednesday. So we're not gonna have any time to do any, you know, final uh, things on it. We just gotta come here and start dumping concrete. Not supposed to work before seven here, so technically we could get in trouble on Wednesday, but uh, I'm gonna take the risk because we gotta get this done while it's dry. All right, I'm over here at Menards. Oh, they had what I needed. That's the main thing. Grab the saw so we can cut this pipe, the PVC pipe. Why don't you put the smooth bucket on and give me a little trench here so I can finish out these pipes. That's good enough. That's good enough before he breaks something. Just dig up under that form. Cisco dice que manda en su casa. You better not be swearing. <laughs> Little kids watch this. Keep that in mind. I, I hear you guys saying Mexican swear words. At least I think they are. I'm not even sure. About you? No. No, you got a new nickname though. Yeah. Captain Marcel. <laughs> that, that's your new nickname apparently. Captain Marcel. So I got this area dug out here for the, basically it's just going to be a circle. So to form a circle, you get your center point and then you just measure the same distance all the way around. It makes a perfect circle. It's very, very simple to do. The gray. You got to keep holding it. We got to go all the way around. Is this going to be a stamp, the patio? No, it's all gray, regular concrete.
So somebody just texted or uh, left a message. I live close to Victory. I have a small job, 200 square feet. I'd like to get done in the next couple weeks. Please call me. Oh, okay, right on it. Let me just call her back right now and tell her we'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> in the next couple weeks. Come on, man. Come on. That's not gonna be enough. You better get another one. That's all the gravel. Compact what you got. You guys can get wire up here for the patio and that. And then uh, we got to get everything 100% like concrete's about to pull up because we're pouring this at 610 on Wednesday. We're not going to have any time to get anything ready. So it's got to be 100% dolls, everything. I don't have no concrete order for this. I wish I did. It would have been nice. All right, there's a lot of gravel going in this patio. That was an entire tandem axle right there. But Daryl's back with another load. Finish grading this off. Grade the circle. Are you guys fighting again? I thought you guys were friends. Man, I remember that one picture you guys were making the little thing with your hands. And now you guys are fighting. Man. Why were you gone for two hours? Hour and 45 minutes. Oh, okay. What do you, I can't eat pizza. It's all ca just because it has spinach on it doesn't make it healthy. This thing's empty. We use that much on the other job. I don't know, but it's empty. Why'd you empty it? It's just interesting that uh, you say anything about the price of fuel, uh -huh. and I don't know what it is. People are like, why are, you, why are you complaining? Why are you such a whiner? How is that whining? That. I mean, it realistically affects business and the price of everything. I think Eric just told me uh, that the concrete companies are charging $35 on fuel service charges. Oh, they have to. I'm gonna leave, just like I said, get this 100% ready, cause we're just gonna pull in and pour, get all the tools out and everything like that. I'm gonna go check that job for tomorrow. Uh, and then I gotta, I'm gonna buy you guys lunch at 52's. It's not me buying it, it's a guy from the channel. He just randomly sent me a check and said, buy the guys lunch. Thank you. All right, I'm back at the job. We tried to start on Friday, today's Monday. Had some time to dry out, I'm gonna see if we're gonna be able to work here tomorrow or not. It is drier, but it is not dry. It's still pretty muddy back there. It's definitely not as bad as it was on Friday, but uh, we're gonna go here tomorrow. It's really all I have planned, and uh, we'll just have to deal with it. We'll bring our plywood, plenty of gravel, and just get it done. We have to, don't really have an option right now. I have way too much work scheduled, and I can't have any days where we don't get anything done. All right, we're over here at the Odyssey restaurant. 52 is closed. They're getting a brand new parking lot. But this is my second choice. 
The guy's name is Joe Kearney. Thank you, Joe. Joe Kearney that bought us lunch. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Right. Yep. Thanks. Good morning. It is bright and early. It's 420 on a Wednesday for me. And today we're going to go pour that big patio and fire pit. I think it's about 15 yards total. Hopefully everybody shows up. We're starting at five, so you never know. How much garbage do we make? All right, I'm just pulling up through Dunkin' Donuts drive through Unfortunately, a quick trip doesn't open till five. And it's only 4.40 right now. Thank you. It is 4.48. I am just pulling into the yard. Daryl's here. And I know Eric's here too because he texted me. Said two guys beat me here this morning starting at 5. That's better than the last time we started at 5. That's for sure. I don't know if Junior's here today or not. I asked Daryl Sr. to bring him, but kind of depends if he was sleeping or not. Why are you guys here so early? You said to be here early. Yeah, you said to be here early. I did. I said be here at 5. I was stopped at Quick Trip. It was closed. I was like, 5 a.m., huh? <laughs> I was like, there was, there was already people there, man. I wanted to go. I went to Duncan. They open at 4.30. Oh. Yep. You like waking up early? Say I wanna, don't I say sleep. yes. I, wanna, I don't I don't like it, but I want to sleep really early. Really, <laughs> you did? Really early, like nine. Oh, already. oh, I didn't. I stayed up late. Why? I was working, man. There's a lot of work to do. I always find an employee's perspective interesting. They don't sometimes understand all the work behind the scenes that has to get done to run a business. They think I get to go home and just, you know, put work aside, kind of like they do. And that's just not the case. Get Eric his money. That's impressive for Eric. I would have never imagined. Never. 20 bucks. Hey! I would have gave you 10, but I didn't have a 10. Dude. And Francisco has to give you five because he's not here yet. Yeah. Is there a big caulk on in the form truck? Or not, check. And now we need a bag of mortar. Uh, I thought there was one on the front line. There probably is, there usually is. All right, we are out of here. Francisco will be here in a bit. It's 5.02. After realizing how warm it is this morning, it's already like 74 degrees. It's gonna get hot today. I decided to stop at Quick Trip on my way, grab some water, because I don't have anything to drink. Morning, Jewel. Good, I already got coffee this morning at Dunkin' Donuts. So I just came to say hi. And today's the day where your house blend is full. Come on, Jewel. All right, well, have a good day. Yep. Thank you, have a great one. All right, just pulling up on the job. It's 5.32. So we got a little bit of time to make final preparations. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna be warm, but it's not gonna rain and it's not windy, so I can live with that for sure. There's not a lot to do here. I'm gonna mark the joints out. And then uh, that's about it. <laughs> wow, Daryl. <laughs> I'm not even gonna make any comments this morning. Hi. I'm not even gonna make any smart comments this morning. Okay. Although I could. <laughs> <laughs> That Me? To where? Experience? Experience? Oh, the gym? Yeah, I, I do. You, you go? No, nope, I haven't gone in a long time. I mean, I would if I had time. I don't. I just don't have the time. I set my alarm. I thought I did. <laughs> and the only way I got up was my girlfriend smelled my coffee pot going. Really? 418, I was like, I had a set before. Good thing. I know. I was like, man, I'm kind of surprised Ryan didn't call me and text me. Don't you want me to trust you? Well, yeah, I do. There you go. All right, that should look pretty good. Pretty uniform. 
Hey, question. Where's Junior? <laughs> Sleeping? Too hot for Junior? Oh, he would be dying. oh come on. Honestly. Hey, you will have AC in the truck. Yeah, he could sit in my truck in the AC and sleep. <laughs> I never thought about that. Yeah. Grab some rods. We'll put rods along that thickened edge. Yes. Where's he going? Oh, he saw us. He's backing up. He saw us. Good. Let's see who we got today. Morning. I seen you driving around over there. Glad you saw us. We're gonna pour that little circle first. Okay. And then you're gonna swing really wide and come around actually on that side of the patio. We're gonna spout this whole thing. It's pretty dry, so you should be good. 6.04, right on time. Actually a bit early. I'm gonna pour this stiff and then we'll add some for the big patio. You're gonna need all your shoots on. And, and then he could just come around that way. Ho, ho, ho! Don't go too far down there. Yeah, just come parallel right here. Yeah, I don't want you to go too far because it might be wet down there. Yeah, throw the rest of your shoots on and pull up. We should be good to go. All right, second truck's here, ready to roll. Oh man, stop. Put in 10 gallons, dude. It's not even coming out of the truck. Dude, what does your meter say? Nothing? Zero? Man, I hate when this kind of stuff happens. Everything slows you down, you know? All right, try again. Back him up. I don't think he's been driving very long. I think so. Dude, come on. We don't have like all day and all night for this concrete. Right. Razor, shoot up. Be careful, you're gonna hit the pin. Swing it this way. Oh, this guy has no idea what he's doing. No. Dude, put in another six gallons. It's dry as a bone. Now you guys see why I appreciate those good drivers so much. Those guys with experience, because guys like this that are just starting, they make your job really hard really hard
Hey, he's got to back up that way now and just face in right here. And he can just go like this now. Help him out. He don't. Yeah. Are you? He must be new. Yeah, he new. Yeah, yeah. Back him this way and bring him this way. I don't think he hit it. He almost hit the truck. Easy money, eh, Francisco? Come on, man. Yo, come on. <laughs> he got like two yards right here. Come on. Help us pull, man. We're dying over here. Good for your biceps though, right, Daryl? We honestly could have used the power buggy and been better off. We would have been better off with the buggy. It's training day. Training day. I don't like training days. Hey, we're ready, boss. We're waiting. We need some up here. That's a good early morning workout though. Pull four yards of concrete. Biceps are feeling good this morning. Messing around with the truck for way too long, man. Way too long. Look. No, I said he's me they're messing with the truck for just way too long. Bugs would be mad right now, wouldn't he? He would be very mad. He'd be throwing his mag on the concrete like he does. Pow! Did you get yelled at last week? No. Not at all? No, not yet. I've been I think it's time for your first one. You ready? <laughs> yeah. You ready? <laughs> You're killing us. Come on. <laughs> Well, it took forever to get down, which is never a good thing. I'm gonna snap some lines, start cutting joints right away, because it's about ready. It's not gonna be long. They're still finishing up that corner. I'm gonna start cutting joints. Hey, if we didn't pour early, we would have been in trouble today. If this was like middle of the day, yeah. this stuff would have been crusty already. Remember yesterday we were talking about doing a 70s day? Yeah. Where we all dress like we're in the yeah. 70s? What we should do is we should prank Daryl. We should tell him tomorrow the uh, 70s dress up day. Oh, he should come. And none of us will dress up. <laughs> we should do that. I'm sure he will. <laughs> with the big bell bottoms, with the silk shirt, with the big chain. <laughs> that was easy for you. Might as well do that corner first since you're there. Daryl, are you busy at all? He's already tired. I'll be right with you. I'll be right with you. <laughs> he acts like he's the boss. Look at him. Smoking a cigarette. Big boss man, Daryl. 
What you got? I know, I was just coming to say, you know, I'm out of here now, but nice All right, to meet man. you. I get better than the next time. Of course, so. man. Everybody's got to start somewhere. You yeah. didn't hear me yelling at you. I mean, trust me, I was frustrated, but I ain't going to yell at you. Got Everybody's got to learn, man. True. Yeah. See, you got to. I was just telling him over there, they just let me out of my training last week. So this yeah. is like my first time out by myself. Yeah, yeah. What's your site called? Uh, Victory Outdoor Services. Victory Outdoor Services. Yep. I think my sister told me about it. She works up here too. Okay. She, uh, she showed me a video uh, where you had her on the video one day. Oh, okay. She was the one that had y'all uh, mess Y'all too wet load. That, that was your up. sister? Yeah. Man, your sister, tell her thank you for bringing that wet load. That video blew up. That was my best video of all time. I had two million views. Yeah, I watched yeah. it. Yeah. I'm like, wow, he gets a lot. Of yeah, so anyways, if you talk to her again, tell her to put 100 gallons in before she comes. <laughs> thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Have a good day. You want to cut these joints? Sure. Not today. Come on. So. <laughs> That's ready over there, hey? Yeah. Marcel is gonna finish up the circle over there. We got a few more joints to cut over here, and this is just about ready too. Eric and Francisco will jump on here. I'll probably swipe down an edge, help them out, and then broom like I usually do. Don't mess around over there, Eric. Hurry up, dude. I'm just telling you. Trust me. Eric, you're going to have to put it in second gear. I, I know it's going to feel wet over there, but just trust me on that one. Watch out, the boss joiner is coming through. Go fast. I told you it's gonna get hard right there. You want that finishing aid, Marcel? No. Sure. I don't know how hard it is. I'm not down there. Well, pretty hard. Right. Yeah, you're kind of weak. I was asking Marcel. You know, he's got 14 inch gun, and you got 11. <laughs> <laughs> My arms were 19 inches when I used to work out. Really? Unpumped. Uh, Flex. Right Yours used to be 25. Bigger than Hulk Hogan. 24 inch pythons brother you remember that yeah, yes you remember hulk hogan right when he used to say that his 24 inch pythons yeah he's alive yeah he's alive yeah teamwork teamwork makes the world go round teamwork makes the concrete get finished there's got to be better than that that looks like a big ball of poopity doopity you see that Doogity. Yes, that does not look good. Man, I didn't have enough time to change my boots today. I know. That's when I know I'm busy, when I still have my puddling boots at the end of the pour. Exactly. Hey, Eric, you can't be that tired. Oh, it's only 9 in the morning. No. Yes, it is. It's 9 a.m. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? No. Okay. 9.05. Here. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. Dang, you hungry? 
That's a lot of food. Mm -hmm. That looks good though. Where'd you buy that? Or did you make it? I made this. I just threw the piece of chicken up in last night. That mm. looks good. I'm, I'm actually really worried. I mean, it's hot and humid right now, but it's only like 83, 84. That's hot there, huh? When it gets really hot in the summer, I don't know if you guys are going to make it. You look so tired already. Can you believe it's only 9 a.m.? And we're all tired. <laughs> that driver wore us out. <sighs> second week. No, second week. Last week he trained all week. This week he's on his own. It's his third day on his own. That's what he told me. 87 tomorrow? Yeah. Woo! I'm going to be sweating picking them stamps up and down. Sweating. I need a break for a few minutes. I got this sticker here. I really like this one. Pretty cool. Some blood sport. Can you imagine when I put this on the internet and I tell them it's like 84, 85 degrees and we're all dead? They're gonna make so much fun of us. 35 to 90 in one week. We're just not used to this yet. We'll get used to it. It gets hot in Wisconsin, but nothing like down south. We have it pretty easy compared to some states, but it still feels hot to us. I mean, it's all relative. People make fun of other people. Oh, you can't handle the heat. I could say you can't handle the cold, you people from Arizona. It's, it's just all your perspective. How's it going? Uh, good, how are you guys doing? Good, you like it? Oh, yeah, it looks good. All right, it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big patio. Yeah. I'm gonna need a check today. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lien on your house by tomorrow morning. Okay. Just letting you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I didn't even figure it out yet, honestly. Okay. So we'll just, we'll just do it another time. I'll, I'll yeah. call you or something. Oh, yeah got a good start so i'm gonna send somebody over here tomorrow afternoon there's some pins back there we can't get okay. and there's a little bit of splatter here and there we're gonna clean that off okay. uh, tomorrow afternoon but we're done essentially okay he'll just be here for maybe 15 20 minutes okay we're all done here for today fire pit slab is all done and then the patio it was pretty big all this together was 15 and a quarter yards believe it or not it was pretty big uh, it was a bit of a struggle because of the driver but we knocked it out and it's just really hot it feels really hot to us. I know you guys will say, you guys are sissies, but it's almost 85 degrees and it's been 35, so it's a major jump. So it makes it feel way hotter than it is. So everything turned out good. We're gonna be coming back here later in July and finishing, it's a big driveway. It's probably a 50 yard driveway and a long front sidewalk, but that's for another time. All right, we're gonna to go to lunch and then we have a little bit of work to do on another project. I will see you guys on the next one. Adios. You got anything to say to anybody? Drink water. Uh, Stay hydrated. Oh, tomen agua. Anything? Los amigos, aquí andamos echando cemento. Easy money. Very easy. Cero cansado. No tired. All right, adios. Adios. You got anything you want to say to anybody today? Easy money. And I want to thank everybody for watching us out there. Yes. And everybody who says hi. Adios. Adios, amigos.